Hey, what's going on, guys? I hope you're having a great Thursday. Today's vlog, she live. <laughs> All right, so if you guys remember yesterday, we talked about Jay Kelly Hoey's book, Build Your Dream Network. If you haven't already, I highly recommend grabbing a copy of that. Today, I really want to talk about value innovation. What is value innovation? What does that mean for us, for our personal brands, as well as any business or not-for-profit that we're trying to build? So when we build a brand, when we try to sell a product or a specific service, we're essentially telling a story to our customers that we're hoping they like and we're hoping they buy into enough to actually spend their money on, to actually engage enough and help spread the word to other people. But that story is so integral. And how are we differentiating ourselves from our competitors? I mean, that's huge. We can't just be peddling the same product. And even if we are offering it for a couple of pennies cheaper, you know, do our customers really know the brand that we are? Have we really created a big enough brand yet? I mean, that takes time. And that can't just be based on a lower price point. There has to actually be what's considered a value innovation, meaning increasing the value to the consumer without increasing the price. So without changing the price, just making a product cheaper or more expensive, being at the high point or the low point, that's not differentiated enough. We need to give our customers a reason to buy from us. So what can that be? Well, the first step of that is what we've been talking about all along, which is engaging with our customers and asking them what they want rather than trying to guess at that value innovation. So by asking them, we can get some data points on exactly what they're looking for. What kind of angle that they would like to be sold, what kind of price point, what kind of name for the product. Remember that when our customers go online or they go to the retail store and they're choosing between products, they're gonna choose one that they know more so. So let's give them a reason to know us. Let's give them a reason to buy into what we provide. You know, value propositions can range in such a vast array of ways, but the key aspect is that we're attempting to bridge the gap between us and our customers, and then not just stopping short of looking at our current customers, because that's what most companies do. They're fighting over the same minnows in the pond, and the more sharks that enter, the less there are to feed each one of them. We're fighting more and more to gain market share missing out on the real idea that is, how do we bridge the gap between us and the non-consumers? The customers who normally wouldn't think of purchasing our product or service. How do we make that change, that big enough value innovation, how do we propose something enough that the consumer essentially can't say no? Because that's the idea really of any marketing campaign, of any business proposition, of any opportunity to sell a product or service to a customer is, Give them an option that they cannot refuse. That it is such a high benefit that the cost to them in their minds is so minimal that they need to buy that product. And part of that is gonna be starting with you building a brand and telling them who you are. Not just the products that you're selling, not just the services that you're providing, but why you do what you do. Remember, they wanna know you. They want to know you as an individual. We see more and more commercials in the last 10 to 15 years with the CEO somewhere in the commercial because companies are realizing that the consumer doesn't want to see a faceless company, some large organization where they feel like they don't know the people working inside that organization, the people that they're buying from, the people that they're essentially helping to build their dream. You know. If a consumer is going to buy from us, they want to feel like they're buying towards something bigger, towards a bigger dream. So what is your purpose? Why do you get up each day? Why did you start the business that you started? Why did you brand yourself the way that you did? Why are you looking for that specific job? Why are you choosing to do more than just wake up and think about yourself? Because when we do that, it's really the most advantageous thing for us that we can possibly do. Love one another and you will gain far more than you would just by thinking about yourself. It's not the easiest thing to do. I mean, it's human nature to think about ourselves. But if we can take the time to think about our consumer, think about what they care about, take the time to engage them, ask them what they want, at what price point, 
provide them a value innovation that separates us from the competitors where they're essentially forced to choose us. We present them an offer that they cannot refuse. Are you doing that now? I hope so. But if not, you can very easily. Oh man, I love talking about value innovation. This is awesome. I hope you love the waves right behind me because I do. They came up and hit me a couple times. But man, who cares? Life is beautiful. As always, guys, any questions that you have, email me over at Clayton J. Jensen. Send me a tweet. Send me a Facebook message. Instagram me. Snap me. Whatever you need to do, whatever platform you like to be on, I'll be there. And I would love to help you get to the point where you've got financial freedom, where you can wake up each and every day, turn to your spouse, turn to your loved ones and say, what do we want to do today? We can do that because we've built a life around something bigger than just a job, but around a lifestyle that we want to lead around a way that we want to raise our children, around a way that we want to enjoy life, we can do that. And value innovation is just one part in that puzzle. Let's help put it all together. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Message me over any questions that you may have. And as always, 